this comparison, we're talking two of the largest, fastest, and most expensive private jets in the world, Gulfstream's G650 and Dassault's Falcon 8X. Budget differences probably aren't top deciding factors if you own either one of these planes, but we're gonna break down the operating costs anyway. We'll also look at speed, range, and cabin size, along with the differentiators between the two. Jake, do you wanna kick off with the operating costs? Yeah, sure, so we're comparing the G650, I mean the mothership, right, versus the Falcon 8X, the new mothership. I mean, these are the two heavyweight title contenders, so to speak, of private aviation. Um, the G650, I mean, you're, you're flying at 500 knots. I mean, you're not, you're going pretty fast. Um, Falcon 8X, 475, I mean, not that much slower. If you're flying 100,000 miles in a year, um, that means in the G650, it takes you about 173 hours. In the 8X, 183 hours. So if you're in a serious hurry, I suggest a G650. <laughs> the fuel, so fuel burn, this is crazy. The fuel burn on the G650, um, just per hour, is eight, uh, 485 gallons an hour. The Falcon 8X is 364 gallons an hour. But the Falcon 8X has three engines to Gulfstreams too. It's magic. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> They're burning less fuel somehow. Um, so, but here's the deal. Even with three engines, the maintenance costs on the G650 are higher per hour if you're gonna put them in a maintenance reserve than the Falcon 8X. So the G650, we say budget about $1,500, $1,600 per hour for maintenance. Um, the Falcon 8X is um, $1,250 per hour. Um, insurance, you're gonna pay more for the G650, uh, 57, this is a national average, but about 57,000 uh, per year. Falcon 8X, 45,000 a year. Um, pilot training, G650 is um, 20 grand to more expensive. Um, but the yearly DOCs, so yearly DOCs, 100,000 miles a year, um, G650s is 691,000 a year. The Falcon 8X is 561,000. Um, and then the fixed costs are going to be higher on the G650. I mean, this plane is just enormous. The, you know, the pilot training is more expensive. The hangar might be a little bit more expensive. People see those big windows and they just say, oh, let's charge them more for a hangar. <laughs> so. Despite its third engine, the Falcon 8X actually burns less fuel than the G650, which propels a cabin with eight extra feet of length and flies record setting speeds. The 650 also still beats the range of the 8X, but if we're all honest here, it's rare that any of these ultra long range birds actually stay in the sky for more than 12 hours. The Falcon 8X made significant strides over its sister ship, the 7X, in cabin noise and flight, and I can attest to overhearing a whisper about champagne on board when I flew in it, and I didn't even pretend to not be listening. Honestly, both of these airplanes are a dream to fly, whether your perspective is the cabin or the cockpit. Both companies can configure the cabin for comfort and convenience of the buyer and the crew, although Gulfstream does have more capacity for higher density configurations, accommodating up to 18 passengers in that extra 18 feet. My experience is that attention to detail is not lacking in either design team. The biggest differences come in the engineering history. Gulf Streams come from a long line of private jet manufacturing, and even though Falcon's been making private jets longer, the brand is rooted in Dassault's fighter jet and drone developments. The latter includes fly-by-wire, which is more advanced and controlled by a side stick. Both companies have very responsive customer support, especially for their most expensive offerings. So if money is no issue, I think this choice comes down to the preference of the ramp presence of the sleek, big windowed Gulfstream or the intimidating three engine Falcon. Visit wepush10.com slash resources to learn more about current market values and find even more valuable resources for buying or selling an aircraft.